Hi, this is Zach with HVACdirect.com, and today we're going to answer a very common question that many homeowners have. Which type of system should I install, a furnace or a heat pump? To understand this question and really get to the bottom of it, we have to start off by describing what each one is. And a furnace, in its simplest form, is a type of heating apparatus that burns some type of fuel. That could be natural gas, propane, or oil. Those are the three most common that you'll find residentially or commercially. A heat pump, on the other hand, does not burn any type of fuel source. It actually uses refrigerant to absorb heat from the outside and reject that heat into your home. It may have a type of backup heat source that could be electric heat, or in some cases, you have a dual fuel system where you have a heat pump outside and some type of furnace inside that does use either natural gas, propane, or oil. So that's the first place we have to start is understanding the actual difference. Now, we will have other videos diving deeper into how heat pumps work and we'll get much more in depth. But for the purpose of this video, we're just gonna start with that broad overview. So when looking at which option is better for you, one very important thing to consider is what region you live in. If you live further down south, a heat pump will always perform better. Heat pumps absorb the heat from the outside air. So of course, it will perform better if it's 50 degrees outside compared to zero degrees outside. Does that mean you can't have a heat pump up north? Well, it used to, but not anymore. The good news is that many heat pumps can now operate down to negative 22 degrees. That didn't used to be the case, but with modern technology, heat pumps have performed better and better at lower and lower temperatures. So what that really means is the old saying that if you're in the south, install a heat pump, and if you're in the north, you have to install a gas furnace, just isn't really true anymore. Now, like I did mention, you will get better performance if you're in a more southern climate where it is still warmer in the winter, but you can now install heat pumps up north. Now, if we're going to talk about the different types of furnaces, that's important as well. There's natural gas, propane, and oil. Who would benefit the most from switching from a furnace to a heat pump system? Well, what you have to look at here is the cost of the fuel. Propane and oil are very expensive, and you can save tons of money by switching from those types of furnaces to a heat pump system. When I was out in the field, I had customers that had 500 gallon tanks they were filling up three to four times a year. Whenever they switched to either a dual fuel system or a complete heat pump system, they saved tons of money. Of course, if they switched to a heat pump only system, they weren't filling that tank up at all because they didn't have to use fuel anymore. Or if they switched to a dual fuel system, they went from filling that tank up those three to four times a year to only once a year. That means they cut their oil cost or their propane cost down by 75%, which is a lot of cost savings for you. So if we're looking at the best case scenario for switching from a furnace to a heat pump, I would say if you're using oil or propane, it's a no brainer. It's always gonna make sense to either go with a heat pump or a dual fuel system. Now, if you have natural gas, you still can benefit from having a heat pump or a dual fuel system. But as we all know, natural gas is cheaper compared to those other two. So the question now becomes, what is the cost to install that heat pump? And that's one great thing about HVACdirect.com is we're delivering those heat pumps to you at a much lower cost. When I used to work out in the field, I would actually tell customers, it does not make sense to install a dual fuel system if you have natural gas. Now the reason for that was because the cost that I was gonna have to charge them to install that dual fuel system. It could easily cost them an extra $1,000 to $2,000 compared to if they went with a furnace and an air conditioner. And to be honest, by the time they ran that system, it would take a really long time to even equal out on those cost savings because of how cheap natural gas is. But if you are able to buy that heat pump system at a much lower price, then it makes a lot more sense again. So I would say if you are going to a website like HVACdirect.com and buying your heat pump by bypassing the middleman, then a dual fuel system, even with natural gas, makes sense still because you're going to get that lower upfront cost and then you're going to save money in the long run as that heat pump runs in the warmer weather and you switch over to your furnace in the colder weather. So. As you may have noticed so far, the answer of should I install a furnace or should I install a heat pump, the answer really is do both. 
and it really doesn't matter anymore where you live. If you're in the north or the south, if you have natural gas or propane, with modern technology, inverter drive heat pumps, it pretty much always makes sense to install one. Of course, the only caveat to that is making sure you don't spend too much up front so it takes a long time to recover those costs. If you buy the equipment not through a middleman and you cut out that extra expense, if you ask me, it always makes sense to go with a heat pump. All right, so do you have to have a heat pump? Do you have to have a furnace? Can you have both? I think we've answered that question. Now remember, you can still go with a standard furnace and air conditioner and there's nothing wrong with that. But with technology getting better and better and costs getting lower and lower, there's no reason you can't have the best of both worlds to save you money. If there's another reason that you could think of of why you might want to have a heat pump that we didn't touch on, please leave a comment below. And of course, please subscribe and hit that notification button so you can get more videos in the future. We hope to see you again soon.